Hello everyone and welcome back once again to another DCS video. Today we're actually going to be taking a look at a mod for DCS. Obviously it's the aircraft in front of us, the F-22 Raptor. We're going to be taking a look at some of the basic systems, overview, you know, textures, all of that sort of thing of this aircraft. Um, it does unfortunately only have a basic flight model. Uh, it's based on the F-15. Um, so, you know, we're not going to see any... Uh, active use of the thrust vectoring system, which obviously the F-22 does have. But, you know, we'll still get to take a look at some of the different function systems. Um, there's really not a whole lot implemented right now. But anyways, let me unpause here. Those two guys on the active are going to go ahead and do their takeoff roll. If I can pick the correct, there we go, pick the correct aircraft. So watch these guys take off. You can see our jet in the background with the canopy and the weapons bay doors open. There is one. There's two short. During a they're doing a flaps down full afterburn and takeoff. We're gonna do a no flaps. Full mill, i.e. no afterburner style takeoff. So there go those two. Let's go back to our jet. So again, there go those guys. So let's go through some of the available libraries of the aircraft. Uh, there's actually quite a few. Uh, so we start with our, obviously, AKR Alaska. I believe this is a... Yeah, it might not be an ANG airplane. I'm not sure. I'm not too on the up and up with uh, F-22s. Um, basically, I know Tyndall Air Force Base. Uh, this is completely fictitious. Um, I know a Tyndall Air Force Base, and I think Andrews, just outside of D.C., uses them. But outside of that, I have no idea, and I couldn't tell you. But we'll just click through all of the libraries just to take a look at what's available with the mod out of the box. Quite a few different options. This looks like a F2A style um, library for the JSDF. Ooh, a half glass. It should be darker. That looks pretty cool. I like that. I don't think any actual F22s use this darker half glass style camel, but I like it. The IAF, who definitely does not have F22s, but again, I like the libraries. Oh, hang on. Let me go back to that one there. There's a blue... That's cool, it's got a blue nose. I like that, that's pretty cool. Again, I don't know if that's uh, real or not. And then a plain, no markings. Sea Raptor with like the uh, 80s style Vietnam sort of camo. That's pretty cool, again. Even if this one even says fictional. Starscream from the Transformers film, the Decepticon. Tiger Meat. Oh, so that's like the Canadian F-18, I think, uses that. And then the YF-22, the prototype aircraft library. Um, so let's go with, for our airplane. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just stick, we'll stick with something realistic. As far as ornament goes, um, it's all the newest, best, um, weapons out there so you have the aim 9 x-ray the aim 9 x-ray x-ray which i didn't even know was a thing um aim 120 deltas and i guess oh you can't store the charlie models also in the interior so these six stations here in uh three four five and then seven eight nine are all the internal center weapons bay and then one and eleven as you can see are the left hand and right hand side weapons bays you can equip external fuel tanks if you would like to do so on the two hard points on the wings and then I think this is a smoke, yep, it's a smoke slot if you wanted to have smoke on the aircraft. But we're not going to touch any of that for now. We're just going to change our library. I've got my window cling is on there. Okay, so let's hop into the airplane. I was looking at this Garfield, oh, he's, it's not visible now. Well, anyway, there was a Garfield window cling you could see in the F2 uh, view. That's kind of cool, but whatever. And I believe that can be turned on and off. So first thing we're going to need to do is get our battery on. You can hear our RWR spins up. I'm going to turn our external lights to position. 
I don't think those come on until we have generator power. They do not. Rearming complete. Thank you much. I'm going to turn on our APU. That's actually a fairly realistic sound. There's no sound outside, unfortunately. Um, yeah, and even the dirt from it as well. It's kind of modeled on both sides. But on the F-22, actually, at night, you can see when they start the AP, you get a little wall of fire that'll... Or I shouldn't say a wall of fire, but a little puff of fire that'll come out just uh, beyond the... or just in front of the gear door, I believe. That's pretty cool, so you can hear the APU running. Next, let's try for an engine start. So it should just be moving our throttle forward. Yep. And we'll go ahead and watch our oil pressures rising. I don't see N2 on here, but there's N1 spinning up 13%, 14%. We'll wait for a light oven. I mean, this is all FADEC controlled anyway, so it's not like we're really watching for any specific events to happen. You know, if the FADEX sees a hot start or something, it'll shut the engine down for us preemptively. So we'll go outside here and we'll watch our nozzle close. You can see not the best modeled uh, fans, but whatever, it's fine. On the real F-22, you wouldn't even really... I mean, you can you can see the turbine blades, um, but not nearly as good as you can here. There's quite a bit of complex uh, heat diffusal and that sort of thing, as far as I know. Okay, we'll start engine two. We'll turn our left generator on. That'll bring up all of our systems here. It's a FADEX system, so again, I'm not going to really bother watching the engine start. You should see now, yep, we have our position lights on. I'm actually going to turn those to position and anti-collision. So you'll see, actually, I'll show it on the left, on the right wing here. Um, and this is, this is accurately modeled. So the F-22 has the ability to have navigation lights, but also anti-collision lights, just like that, on the wingtips. I remember the first time I saw an F-22 in person. Well, not the first time I saw it in person, but there was one time I saw an F-22 flying... And it had this style with the twin anti-collision lights going on the wingtips. And I thought that was so weird. I'm like, why do you want two reds? But it is a thing the F-22 can do. So we're going to leave it be. And we'll turn on our right generator. That should be all the engines start complete. We're going to turn off our APU now. And we'll take a look at some of our screens here. So again, it's not fully, um, you know modeled after the real F-22, obviously the textures desire, or leave a little bit to be desired. Um, there should be flood and console lighting. You're not going to see a whole lot of the console lighting here, but you can see a little bit of the flood. You can actually change. So if I go to the configuration menu in our PFD here, I can actually change our canopy tint. So right now we have a dark canopy tint. I can make that gold. Oops, sorry. Gold. The black that we had before, and then a clear canopy with no tint. I like the gold, so we're going to stick with that. I can change our visor mirror, our visor tint. So right now we've got a mirror tint. I think you can change that to gold. Yep, black, and then clear. And then you can have them just wear aviators, which is pretty cool. Uh, we'll do the mirror tint for now. That's probably more realistic. You can also change the floodlight colors. Do my best to show that here. So if you look at my lighting panel here, you can see a little bit of the flood lighting coming in. I'm actually going to close up the canopy just so it gets a little bit quieter inside. Um, so you can change the floodlight color. So right now it's green, blue, red, white, and then back to green. So if you want to change that, you can. Um, the window cling, that's what I was talking about before with the little Garfield guy sticking there. That's pretty cool. We're going to go without that today. Family photo. Oh, that's down here. That's an actual F-22 pilot. Sitting in the seat there. We'll turn that off as well. And then the rest of these are all what you would use for um, actually fighting. So I believe this is a, shows a classified screen. Oh, no, it doesn't actually. One of these does. Is it TID? Yeah. So that's just classified. Um, I usually use this as my radar screen. Um, but you can also bring your system. Oh, eh, systems doesn't work either right now. So I use this as my radar screen. 
once I have a successful engine light off, if I'm doing active flying, this will become my SMS page. And then I'll make this my RWR. Actually, no, that's not what I do. I change this to FCS. This becomes my weapons bay. Um, so we'll do a control check externally. Check all of our controls are working. Got really aggressive angle on the nose wheel steer. We'll try the brakes, speed brakes. And that is, again, accurately modeled, so good on them there. That is how the F-22 deploys its speed brakes. It throws flaps down and ailerons up, as well as actuating the rudders outward. Um, doesn't really change the coefficient of lift, just adds a whole bunch of drag to the airplane, which is what the goal of our brakes are. Um, and that, again, if I move our stick, that'll be reflected so you can see my controls move in conjunction. You can override the FCS, so you can do a angle of attack override. I do not know what ACL is, but basically that allows you to over G or over stress the airplane. We're going to leave it in AOA just so we can do some cool uh, um, hard pulls. And then very last, let's go to our weapons bays, which as you can see are still open. If I select all of my weapons bays, and this is all done through key bindings, so you're going to have to bear with me. They should close. Uh, hang on, let me check my controls. So I had to bind all of these. Weapons be override, center left, right. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem to be working. What if I hit ground override? Okay, now they close. Which it's not actually letting me select them individually. Maybe I have to be in the air to do that. Alright, well, anyway. So you can obviously actuate the weapons base. There you can set a key binding for that. It's just not working for me right now. I think maybe I don't have it set or I'm pushing the wrong binding. But anyway, you can open and close the weapon bays as so. But that's enough of looking at the, you know, ground sort of detail of the airplane. Let's actually get moving here. So we're going to turn on our taxi light. Park brake is already released. And we're going to go up here and request... Actually, we might have already requested... Yeah, okay, we're not going to bother with ATC. Um, if you did want to do, go into the ground crew, I believe it is the steer point. Oh, no, that actually brings up your kneeboard. That's pretty cool. So you can change your HUD to nav, beyond vertical range, vertical scan, which I don't know if the F-22 can do that. I don't see anything that would indicate it. There is that little no there. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. I don't know a whole lot about it, about the F-22's capabilities, as well as a lot of it's still classified to civilians. So, I mean... You know, what do you, what do you do? Uh, I thought one of these brought up the ground. There it is. COM2 brings up your ground crew menu. So if you don't want to go through the F8 menu, you just hit COM2. That brings up your ground crew menu. Let's set our HUD back to nav mode. And let's taxi on out. Oh, and we still have, okay. Wait, let's taxi out here. Again, on the basic flight model. So if I waggle the rudder pedals back and forth, it does that crazy sort of you know, aggressive fish taily thing. So we'll just be mindful of our uh, inputs. As long as you're gentle, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. All right, let's check the active since we're not actively communicating with ATC right now. I'll let you guys take one more look outside. I'll turn the formation lights on so you can see those as well. Again, in the daytime, nothing really is too spectacular to, to be held. We're 
definitely not going to be climbing to Angels 30, dude, but thanks. So if I get a little bit more lined up here, we'll go ahead and hold in on the brakes. Run the engines up to 100%. And breaks off. You can see the FCS already kicking in there, trying to get us off the ground. Give it a little more suck in the gear. I have an engine fire. Why do I have an engine fire? Right engine. Fire. Why? What happened, right engine? Right engine fire. Okay, let's shut down our right engine. Right engine fire. Right engine fire. I have noticed that. Right engine fire. Right engine fire. Was it a, are they modeling a compressor right stall? Right engine fire. Right engine fire. Oh, that turned off all of right my engines. Right engine fire. That's bad. Right this engine is bad. fire. Okay. Right engine fire. You know? Right engine fire. Right engine fire. Okay, so right engine fire. We're gonna Right engine fire. Good god. Right engine What fire. happened? Right engine fire. I don't think I struck the right engine, engine on the ground. Fire. We're at a super low velocity right, right now. Fire. I'm gonna have to Right have engine to punch out. fire. I'm gonna go full afterburner and point the right nose up, punch fire. out. Okay, well let's uh, let's uh, let's let's try that again, shall we? Be right back, and we'll do a takeoff like the AI. So we're gonna do flaps down, full afterburner. Yeah, I don't really know what happened with that engine fire. I maybe it was modeling a compressor stall. Maybe the airplane just glitched. I'm not entirely certain, because I was at a high angle of attack and a high RPM, which is your situation where you get into compressor stalls. Okay, roll the power in. Gear and flaps. Just like that, we're airborne. Coming back on the power, back to full mill. Okay, well, it worked this time for us. So let's go into our... I have to do it from here. Flight control system. Let's override our angle of attack. Well, it does work now. I don't understand. So now I can actively select those different weapons bays and open and close them. Oh. Oh god. I just jettisoned my sidewinders. How did... What? What? Weapons bay override. Weapons... Oh. Whatever. Let me add... That for all. It just doesn't care. Why are you not opening? Is it because my master arm isn't on? Ah, it's the master arm. There we go. So now I can select just my left. Open just that one. Close that one. I can select my center. Open just the center. And then I can select the right. And open just the right, which you saw we jettisoned our MRAMs before. And I can open all of them, as you saw before. So let's get into some kind of aggressive flying here again we're modeled after the f-15 so we're not going to be able to take advantage of the f-22's super maneuverability or thrust vectoring but uh we can uh we can pull some pretty impressive aoa maneuvers let's get turned around here headed back towards krisk or krimsk whatever it is we flew for a ways all right load up some g's bring the engines up just a little bit a little closer to 100 percent or full mill So we are currently doing 500, just shy of uh, 550 knots indicated. Still subsonic, so that's good. Let's load some Gs, eh? Three, two, one. Butter. Didn't even care. 
I actually have to get slower to really load up the airplane. Because I do still have the G-limiting AOA on. Or I'm sorry, the G-limiter on. Some chaff and flare we'll throw out there. Okay. Start slowing down here a bit. Deploy our beautiful air brakes. Pull some positive G's back towards the ground. Get slowed down a little bit to where we can employ our override for the angle of attack. I'm actually going to go to the FCS. AOA override is selected. So we are at 350 knots. This should let us pull pretty good. A lot of the 5th, uh, 4th gen fighters, rather, let us do that. So I don't see why 5th gen would. Let's pull. Oh, yeah. Look at that big old vapor trail. Let's see if we can get her into a tail slide. Beautiful. Okay, let's power out of it. Minimum speed. Oh, I'm aware. Alright. And we've already dumped one Raptor today, so we might as well dump two. We've got fuel, full fuel tanks in the wings, so let's get some air speed up here and we'll uh, override our G-locking, or G-loading here. Probably rip, rip the wings off of the airplane, but only time will tell. Four fifty five hundred pull. Didn't even care. Okay. Nope. I don't think we need much more speed. I mean, six hundred knots. You're talk. You're talking supersonic speeds at this point. Yeah, we're supersonic. Nope, just doesn't care. Just doesn't care. It'll just... Keep going like that. Okay, so I guess I don't understand what the G override is, and then if I go back to automatic, you can see it really reins us in here. It won't let us exceed that critical AOA, so right now if I were to try to pull... IGs, it would start to dump the nose back like it is now. But if I override, I can just keep the nose pointed towards the sky. What is back? <laughs> That's so cool. Minimum speed. Okay, let's try something Minimum a little more speed. dangerous. Minimum it's speed. It's probably going to end up in death, seeing as I wanted to kill the airplane before with our G overloading. I'm going to try a flat spin. Um, the real F-22 is, if you've seen the shows or the live demos, it, it does flat spins like no one's business super easily. Um, so I'm going to get down below 300. Oh, well, we'll get below 350. And uh, we'll pull up on the nose, kick the rudder over in whatever direction it's favoring, and uh, see if we can't get her to uh, do a flat spin. Ah, there's that basic flight model kicking in. Nope. We're hard over left rudder right now. Minimum speed. No, it just doesn't care. Minimum speed. Let's try it one more time. Go into burners here. Wondering how much protection. Let's go back to automatic mode. And let's see uh, if it stops us from getting in that situation. We're just. Above 300 knots, pulling, 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 pulling. So we're almost at the 90. Reduce power. Hard over right rudder this time, let's try. Minimum speed. Well, yeah, dude. Oh, we're Minimum speed. High. We're dead. We're Minimum dead. We're just going to slide back to the ground. Minimum. We're dead. Let's go full power for what it's worth. Oh my god, dude. This thing's. This, it's, Minimum <sighs> speed. Uncrashable. Okay, back to AOA mode. Hard pull. 
Yes, I am criminally aware we've been losing altitude every time I do this. Minimum speed. Minimum speed. Come on. Oh, no, it just doesn't care. Nope. Nope, this doesn't care. All right, well, let's uh, RTB, I guess, and then we'll take a look at the air-to-air -air capabilities of the F-22. Which, uh, I don't have high hopes for myself. The jet itself, probably very good. But, uh, you get me in a uneven-numbered situation, so, you know, a 2v2, 3v3, whatever, I'll be okay. As long as the people I'm working with or flying with are... Semi competent. Um, but you get me in a me one versus two adversary situation or greater, RIP. Completely. Okay, we're below 300. Zero, zero. Let's go gear and flaps. Actually, gonna close the speed brakes. Shoot for a 180 indicated approach. Give or take a little bit. I mean, this jet's pretty forgiving, so we're at uh, just below 200 now. Dump some more brakes. Drop the nose a bit. About 185 right now. Get a little pre flare going. It's, it is a little bit touchy. Um, when you're doing some of the finer maneuvering, so you can see I've got a bit of pilot-induced oscillation going on right now. Um, that could also just be the gains on my stick. Um, but I feel like the airplane's either diving at a alarming rate or pulling itself out, so... Oh, little touch. Come on down. Come on. There we go. Right, we'll ride the aero brake out. Oh, I'm scraping. That's what it is. So, on, it looks like I'm not scraping. But if you come back here, I'm scraping the absolute piss out of something. So maybe that's what it was. I was doing it visually. So maybe that's what started our engine fire. But anyway, we're on the ground safe and sound now, so... Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Quick turn. Quick turn. It's okay. We're using the basic flight model. We can just cruise along grass. Anyway, I've collapsed the nose gear. Darn. S -s Sucking some dirt here real quick. Let's polish off those uh, compressor blades. Anyway, my lack of airmanship aside, oh god, what is happening? Okay, let's 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 go into air to air. I'll be back in just a bit. Right, and we are back now looking at a 1v1 close contact situation uh, against a Su-27, a single Su-27 versus a single F-22. Um, the only downside of this mission is it gives me only a matter of seconds to get my... Yeah, and you saw we just merged, so I need to go fight him now. We're going to go close air combat. I'm going to open our left, or select our left weapons. Actually, I'm going to go HUD aiming mode. Missile 12 o'clock high. He fired. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. Eject. Yep. Eject. <sighs> left engine fire. Right engine fire. Let's punch out. Oh, I just punched out at supersonic speeds. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. I didn't realize I was going supersonic. Well, that sucks. Let's try. Let's, let's, ugh. Again. Okay, here we go. Alright, fight's on, MF. Normally I would have selected an AOA override, but it's fine. We don't need it this time around. Shoot. Can't. Shoot. need to 
to do is out turn him, which uh, I mean, F22, a real F22, not the model version here, should not be a problem. Shoot, shoot. Oh, tricky, 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 tricky. He likes going high. I'm just trying to. I'm actually trying to lose altitude. How did you not lock him? Shoot! 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 Dude, come on! I might have to override the AOA here. Do an AOA override. So we have to really watch our own. Angle of attack, but that'll let us get the jump on him for turning. Let's turn him back again. If I can snapshot him here, he's dead. Nope. So he likes going up high. I lost him. I lost him. I lost him. I lost him. Crap. No visual. No visual. Where's my RWR? Nothing. There he is. Hey, buddy. Lock him, please. Shoot. Shoot. This boy. Splash. All right. Well, he's dead. Let's uh, even even the stakes here, and we'll go. Uh... Boom. We'll go uh, one more. Best two out of three. Winner takes all. All right. One more engagement for all the marbles. Let's go radar. Let's go RWR. Let's go FCS. Let's override the AOA. Shoot. 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 That's Shoot. Base is open. Shoot. Fuck. Shoot. That's a kill. Splash. Easy. Yeah, he's dead dead. Shoot. Shoot. Screw it. We'll Fox 3. Which apparently you can do well inverted in the F-22. That's pretty awesome. Ah, we missed. Whatever. It's another kill for us back to nav. But anyway, guys, that's just a quick look at the F-22 mod for DCS. I love it. Um, I would, I would like to see a little bit more implemented as far as the full capabilities of the airplane. Obviously, I understand this is a fifth generation fighter. The military is very secretive about the F-22. That's why, as far as I know, the only the U.S. flies it. Um, but this is one of the better mods out there. And again, this is a free mod as well. So I mean, you can just go download it, call it a day. Um, and just taking that into consideration, this is 10 out of 10. Anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, take it easy.